Today's video is being brought to you by the makers of Sleep Deprive. Sleep Deprive can help you do more things less effectively by keeping you awake for hours and hours and hours and hours. Side effects of Sleep Deprive may include fatigue, moodiness, confusion, anxiety, irritability, forgetfulness, sensitivity to loud noises, sensitivity to bright lights, loss of balance, loss of coordination, sudden onset rage, and existential nihilism. Ask your doctor if sleep deprive is right for you. Spoiler alert, it's not. Hello everyone, Falterigo here once again. Finally, eventually, after a fairly lengthy hiatus, with a brand new unboxing video. I did give myself a bit of a break over Christmas and New Year's, um, but it's now the middle of January, so it's, it's high time I got myself in gear and started making some videos again. Um, as I mentioned in my channel update video that I made just before Christmas, uh, it is a little hard some days to come by the motivation and energy to get things done. The depression and anxiety kick in some days harder than others. Um, but what I've discovered is that I enjoy making videos. I really enjoy making videos. And it's a, a creative activity that lets me get out of myself for a little while and uh, forget about all the other nonsense that's going on inside, uh, as Stephen Colbert would put it, inside the old squirrel cage. Um, now, as you might have gathered from the little cold open that I did at the beginning of this video, um, I've also had some sleep issues. So that doesn't help. It makes things very challenging. So yeah, I've had a few days, nights I should say, where sleep was not my friend and didn't come to visit uh, as you should have. So uh, I may have to edit this video. I don't like editing you know, cutting chunks out of these videos um, because it makes it look choppy in some places, but I may have to do that this time just because I'm, I'm very, very tired. But anyway, let's move on. You're more interested. I don't know, maybe you're not interested. This, this particular item that I've ordered, it's probably a very limited appeal <laughs> to video viewers out there in YouTube land. So let's just get to it. I'll tell you what it is. Here's the box. It's a big box. This is the box that Amazon shipped it in. There's labels on it. I may have to blur out my address. But anyway, what's in here are two light stands. Uh, the, the brand is Amazon Basics. Yes, that's the actual brand name that's listed on the website. And they don't have a model number or anything. It's just Amazon Basics uh, aluminum light stand. Quantity 2. Um, now, I probably mentioned this, I'm going to put this back over here. I probably mentioned this in um, the video that I made about the actual video camera that I'm using now, the Canon Vixia, because I did an unboxing video a little while ago for that. But it doesn't have a shoe on it. And so my light, which is actually sitting right here uh, in a mug, <laughs> which is really, really makeshift. Um, so it's over here and it's too low and it's casting some shadows. Anyway, I used to be able to just put the light right on top of the camera with the shoe. And if, if you don't know what a shoe is, it's a mount that's on top of most cameras where you would put a flash. If it's a still camera, you'd put a flash. Uh, the video camera, you'd put a light or perhaps even a microphone with a proper mount on it. But um, this camera, even though I it's a really, really good camera. It doesn't have that particular mount on it. So I've been sort of makeshifting the light. So now we have a light stand. So I'll be able to put it higher, a little bit closer to the camera, angle it the way I want. And I am also gonna order a second light. So I am prepared for that by having two um, uh, light stands. And yes, I keep looking at the screen to the side of the camera. I'm not gonna worry about that, I'm too tired. I'm too tired to, I've already shot this, I've tried to shoot this five, six, I don't know, 
maybe 10 times now and I'm just I'm done with it I'm not doing any more takes so if I have to edit this video I will but I've discovered some editing tricks that help to smooth that out a little bit anyway um, we're gonna get right to the unboxing table now and um, yeah, we're going to wake up, hopefully, and unbox the uh, Amazon Basics uh, light stands. So here we are, back at the unboxing table. Seems like it's been a while. That's because it has been a while. So I'm going to do my best to keep this in, uh, in frame. This is a very long box, so I'm just going to push this edge off a little bit here so we can see... Um, this end, which is where I'm going to open it. There's some tape across here. It's actually, this is not really very well taped, but oh well, I'm not going to complain. So let's uh, take the Mr. Exacto knife to help me cut the tape, and I think that should be good. Yep. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Exacto knife, for your service. I'm going to put you down here. All right, let's get this let's get this going here. There's a case. There's another case. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Nope. That is it. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this box now. So here we have the two light stands, and they both come in cases, which is lovely. So let's open this up. The case zippers all the way down, which I really like. It makes it really easy to get the item out. So we've got some plastic here, plastic bag. I'm gonna put that back there. And some sponge to keep it protected. This should just slide off. I'm hoping that I'm keeping everything in frame here. So that's nice padding, but we're not gonna need that anymore. And here we are. Here we are, here we are. So, this is actually quite light. This this tightens up this collar here so that the uh, this part that slides up and down the main post will stay in place. If we loosen it, then we can pull the legs out. There we go. Come on. There. Okay, it's a little stiff. It's a little bit stiff. I'm hoping that this is staying in frame so you can see what I'm doing. I think I have to pull, yeah, I have to pull these out. There we go. I have to just sort of pull them evenly. Maybe I need to push on the bottom. No, it's coming. It's just a little stiff is all. Let's, oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, there's not really enough room for this. <laughs> but anyway, so you see, I think this little white line here, can you see the little white line? I'm going to bring this over. This is, this is, not, this is not a good item to be doing on a, on a small table. Anyway, so now I've got that, I should be able to tighten this back up again. So that keeps the, this collar. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get up for a second. And I'm going to check the camera to see if this is even in. Uh... No, it's not. There. 
I'm just going to bring this forward so you can see. This collar needs to be tightened so that it stays in place. Okay, so now the, uh, the stand is, uh, is um, up. <laughs> I'm losing it here. I'm, I'm going to have to edit this part too. And now if I bring this back down, you can see that there's a little, there's a little bit on here that you take off and then you put the light on there. And then these are clips that allow you to extend quite a bit and quite a bit more. So this thing goes incredibly tall. Like this is way over on the other side of the room now. So this is great. This is really great. So there it is. There's a light stand. This is uh, going to be one of the weirdest videos I've put together because there's not enough room to show you everything because the stand's too big. Plus, I'm super tired. Um, <laughs> anyway, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and fold this down just to see if it's loosened up at all. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's definitely better. Definitely better now. Oh yeah, yeah. Once you use it a few times, it will uh, it'll be a lot easier to use. And then we have another. It's identical. It's the same thing. I'm not going to open up the second one because it's identical. So there we go. So what I'm going to do now is um, try to stand up, and then I'm going to set up one of these stands, and I'm going to put my light on it, and we're going to go back to position one, and see how that excuse me, see how that looks and see if we can't bring this video to some kind of a, a reasonable end and um, leave me with some dignity intact. Okay, let's go. So here we are back at position one. I have the light stand set up just slightly behind the camera, slightly to my right of it. It's, well, to the left if you were behind the camera looking at me. Um, and it's, I've got it uh, a little bit higher than the camera. It's about four or five inches above the position of the camera and angled slightly down at me. It seems to be working really well. Um, I really like having the light closer to the camera. It was over here. I don't think it was really working well at all, just on the table inside that mug, which is kind of funny. But um, I'm, I'm liking this. And when I get my second light, I'll be able to put it over here um, to, to fill in. Um, I think it's going to be excellent. Um, it is a lightweight stand, but it does seem very solid, unlike some of the reviews that I saw on the Amazon website, which people said it was too flimsy, too light. I mean, obviously, if you're going to use it outdoors, you would need to weigh it down. You'd put some sandbags on the legs or around the legs. But uh, in here, in my little den space, my makeshift studio, it, uh, it's perfect. Yeah, absolutely perfect. And yes, it's going to take me a little bit longer to set things up every time I do a video, but if I get better lighting, then that's worth it. So I'm very happy with this. Uh, you'll see me continue to use this in future videos, and I will add another light once I order a second light, and I have a stand all ready for it. So um, I hopefully will get more sleep before the next video, and hopefully get my motivation back up and running uh, before the next video. This was not my best effort, but you know why. Lack of motivation, super tired, voice cracking. <laughs> anyway, we're going to leave it there. I'm uh, very pleased, and I'm glad that I ordered them, and I'm glad that I was able to take this final shot of this video with my new light stand. So, Thank you very much for watching. I checked recently, I have 35 subscribers. It may be 37 by now, I don't know, but because I didn't look today, I should have looked today. But last time I checked, I had 35 subscribers, and I'm very, very appreciative to everybody who has hit the subscribe button. 
and is uh, checking out my videos. I appreciate it very, very much. So thanks for watching again. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye for now.